Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, today's date, it's uh, December 10th of 2021. And Manicam, oops, here we are. Manicam just came up with or came out with Manicam Lite, and uh, I, you know, I pay for Manicam, and I've made a lot of videos with their standard version. This is uh, Manicam Lite, and I've downloaded it, and I've installed it, and I am using it, and so this is sort of a little test of it. I hope I've got everything correct, but I wanted to uh, give it a little try out here. As you can see, I have <coughs> two cameras now hooked up. The uh, Avery Media which is really nice. That's um, this one here. And I really like it. Now, the other camera, which is going, is the Logitech C920E. And uh, so it's going. And Let's take a look at Manicam Lite. The fast and compact version of Manicam included in all studio and higher packages. The easy to use and filled with essential live video tools such as virtual background, media switcher, picture in picture layers, and multiple video presets. It says here, what is Manicam Lite? Manicam, Manicam Lite is an easy to use virtual camera and live streaming software package with all the essentials, live video tools that you need, virtual backgrounds, uh, media support as video sources, a media switcher for different scenes. Now, if you already own, you know, the Manicam, which I do, uh, you can download this and, you know, enter your uh, ID, you know, your user uh, information. And this is, you know, no extra cost for this. Um, let's see, a quick overview. Blur or replace backgrounds. Draw and add text. Uh, write or draw. Uh, you can add various resources to your screens. Okay. Blur or replace backgrounds. Um, simplified user interface, performance, productivity. You can connect to your favorite platforms. Now you can, you know, record or you can do, you know, live streaming. Let's see. Be the first to experience the future of Manicam by upgrading to Manicam Studio or higher. Now, I've, I'm signed up for, I think, Lifetime Manicam Studio, I believe. Uh, I guess that's it. Uh, now I need to check the, uh, I'm going to upload this. 
I'll put some links to the uh, Manny Cam. And now, uh, the video I made yesterday, I think it was, I got a couple complaints about the audio, which has, you know, nothing to do with this. Um, it's just that uh, I'm using the Blue Yeti X microphone and it has so many settings and I was, I really, I didn't, I didn't really think I messed with it. Well, I thought I messed with it a few days ago and then I thought I set it back to basic or standard or whatever, but uh, so this audio may not be exactly what, you know, what I want, but I do want to upload this so we can uh, take a look at Manicam Lite. So let me uh, take one look at this before. I do like that. And I, you, you have a lot of, uh, I haven't played with all of them. You have a lot of uh, what you can do with the background. Uh, and stuff so um, and I'm not using everything like um, uh, banners and that type of stuff so let's see six minutes gosh I haven't uh, my videos are always longer than six minutes but I guess no reason to uh, make you watch me stumbling around here so we will just uh, bring this to a conclusion and upload it and see how it looks and see how the audio sounds so oh I did forget to turn off the uh, pump for my 20 gallon aquarium tank so you may be hearing that in the background anyway thank you very much I'm back. Uh, you know, this Blue Yeti, I went into the settings on the Blue Yeti. And I tried a bunch of different settings. And it's still got that, I'm not sure what you call it. I'm not very good. My hearing is really bad. Um, has been since, I think, first grade when I was in school. Um, I'm not sure if, you're gonna, if you call it brass or not brass, bass. Uh, somebody yesterday or whatever said that it sounded like I was in a drum or something. Uh, so I went in and adjusted it, but I'm still not happy, but I can't depend on my ears too much. Uh, Maybe what I will do is disconnect this blue Yeti for the next video and go back to using my uh, Gigato Wave 3 camera, uh, microphone and try that. But anyway, I'm going to upload this now. And You might let me know what you think about the uh, about this audio. I'm really surprised the uh, Blue Yeti X has a tremendous software and all kinds of adjustments that you can that you can make. Oh, the other thing I wanted to add, I noticed it's kind of funny because uh, Manny Cam is saying that how did they put it? Uh, using less resources or something like that. My uh, P-Link GT5, I think it is, uh, computer. Uh, for recording of this, uh, very warm, the fan running, you know, and uh, hot, in fact. 
Now, it's not, okay, it's not hot now. Huh. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.